With Worthing FC TV here with Adam Hinchwood following Worthing 1, Eastbourne Borough 1. Adam, your thoughts on the game? Um, yeah, another sort of frustrating afternoon. Um, becoming a bit accustomed to them. Um, especially at home, I think teams are, you know, setting up to uh, get lots of bodies behind the ball. Um, and I thought there was time wasting going on from the first minute. Um, from the goalkeeper, it just took it forever to, uh, and it's frustrating because you know you want to play a high tempo game and people have paid good money to come and watch entertaining football, in my opinion. And uh, yeah, we've got to ultimately find a way to be better to, to sort of break teams down when they're when they're playing that way. Yeah, and how have you found that's been a different thing away from home? Uh, obviously, we've been winning the game, scoring quite a lot of goals away from home. Has it been a little bit more open away compared to our home games? Yeah, I think I think so. I think teams sort of like open up a little bit more at home and, and come at you a little bit. And uh, yeah, and I think we just haven't in the the three home games so far just been able to find enough quality. Um, but yeah, like the endeavour from the players, they keep going to the last minute, and you know you're going to get that from them. But you know, just the question over us. And our, our quality at times, um, you know, crosses that just hit the first player. And, uh, you know, I think when opposition players are getting into similar areas, they make more from them. Um, you know, it's getting a bit tedious now. The shots from the edge of the box, uh, you know, I can't remember a time where we've had a shot from the edge of the box that's hit the target, let alone, you know, work the goalkeeper. Um, you know, it was the same against uh, Dartford. We had two or three shots from the edge of the box and don't hit the target. And you know, we got to, ultimately we're getting the ball into good areas, and uh, we've got to ask more of ourselves um, when we get into the to the final third. Um, got to demand more quality, more quality on the crosses, and you know, better runs to get across players and more desire. But um, yeah, lots lots of us to work on. Again, I think we we're, we're dominating games, um, but you know, we need to three points from three home games is is not really good enough. The goal did come, of course, with Cam Keeley, um, and it was a cross that uh, created the goal as well. So that is obviously a promising sign that we're getting somewhere with it potentially. No, yeah, cal has been brilliant. Um, you know, since we've had the injury to Jake, um, you know, he's really stepped up to the plate, and you know, four goals I think he's got now uh, from the first six games. So um, you know, it's a great return. And what you know you will get with Cal is you know, hundred percent effort. He'll leave everything out there on that pitch, and it's going to be difficult for him. Uh, two ninety minutes back to back, the way he plays Saturday, Monday. Um, but that's just where we are at the moment. Um, we maybe need you know some some more players in that that final third of the pitch just to help Cal out a bit. Uh, but it's it's something for us to look at. But you know he's been he's been excellent. Um, so yeah, long may that continue. Really, he's he's working hard and, and now getting his rewards for it as well. There was a new face in the team today uh, in the midfield. Um, Conrad Hornor, uh, centre midfielder, has come back from from loan from Chichester. Um, yeah. Uh, just talk us through him. Um, how you thought he got on and what the plan is? Yeah, new Conrad, similar to to, to Jasper, um, had him as a young youngster at Brighton, um, and knew of his um, been tracking him for a while. Um, you know, he's been at, been at Burgess Hill last season, played lots of football. He's been at Lansing before that. Um, so he's played lots of men's football for someone so young, um, but yeah, he was he was away with Chichester, but still training with us. And um, yeah, with uh, the sudden move of, of Marv, um, you know, Conrad's been doing well in training and um, got his opportunity today. And you know, I, th I thought he showed um, you know what type of player he is playing slightly out of. His position is more of a holding midfielder, but wanting to play a bit higher and use his, his physical presence um, to get in the box. But you know, his first game at this level, I think he could could be very pleased, and it's another good addition to, to the group. And you mentioned Marvin Armstrong there. Just a quick word on him and how that move came about, and you know, um, just a few thoughts on Marvin as a player. No, yeah, delighted for Marvin. Obviously, um, you know, it's an opportunity to, to go into full time football league above. Um, you know, a really, really tough league and you know, really professional league. And um, he, he's worked his socks off. We spent countless times. He would come down from London and meet him and do one to ones and stuff with him. So, anyone that, that sh any player that shows that kind of dedication, you, you're hoping they do well. And obviously, a, a big loss for us, but. Um, like I say, it's, it gives other players that opportunity. Comrades can come in, and we've got other young players now that, you know, the squad's not not massive. So, um, yeah, delighted, delight for him, and hope he does really well.